Hello, YouTubers. Hello, long riders, and welcome to everything fly fishing. If you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button right down there so you don't miss any of these upcoming awesome tying videos. Well, today, we are going to bring you the blue quill nymph, and it's a really dark nymph. So, well, let's get you to the vise so we can teach you how to tie this fly and don't go away Just make sure you stay to the end of the video as we're going to bring you a really cool special feature so stay to the end and we will see you at the voice you and me we meant to be in the great outdoors forever free going to start by debarbing this the hook like we do so it's easy to remove for catch and release purposes and we have a size 18 nymph sprout hook and we are going to have 70 black denier thread we want to use a small thread because it's a very small hook size 18 What we're going to use here for the tail is the opposite side of a pheasant feather that you would usually use. Like there's one side that has like brown and your you would tie as a pheasant tail. And the other side has this like really spotted tail. As I show you here, that's the side we're going to use. And you probably like me have tons of them because you don't use them for much of anything else. I'm going to use them for the tail. We need to tie them in, same length as the shank of the hook. Now you get tie in some fine silver wire to be used as ribbing. Now I'm going to take some black dubbing. I'm using rabbit dubbing with the guard hair still in it. Like, no, I don't want to use dry fly dubbing. I want you to use stuff with guard hairs in it. And I will explain to you why we use this. Because on this nymph, there's like little gills on the side of it. Little like fins, so to speak. And you want to represent that. And the hair sticking out will represent that as it's going up the body of this fly. So we're going to use stuff with the guard hairs in it. And when we rib it, the hairs will stick out and look like them little gills on the side of the nymph. You want to run that dubbing about one fourth, three quarters of the shank of the hook. Leave one quarter of the shank not covered. Now you want to rip this fly, leaving a pretty big size gap in between each wrap. So you make sure that that uh, dubbing sticks out between your wraps.
Now, when you get to the ending where your dubbing stopped, you want to wrap the little thread wraps in front of it, behind it, figure eight little kind of, and then just take your wire and just helicopter it and it'll break right off. And you want to tie that down, cinch it down really good. I want you to take note here that I wrapped over that last wire wrap and some of the dubbing. I do this and put a bunch of thread wraps over it to make this uh, fly more st uh, sturdy so that your fish doesn't unwrap it as easy. Makes it more sturdy or fly. So do that. All right, now All right, now for the wing case. We're going to use the black part of a turkey tail. We're going to cut about a quarter inch strip out of that. Uh, that'd be about six bias. You're going to cut them out and you're going to tie them in for the wing case. The, not the brown part, just the black part of the turkey tail. Now for the thorax, we're going to tie into, we got two UV peacocks. Um, they're really cool. But I love the UV peacock. And we're going to tie in two that's really close to the eye of the peacock because they're going to leave, have more hairs um, to represent the legs and stuff on this fly. So I'm going to tie two of them in. When wrapping these forward, make sure you leave enough room behind the eyelet to tie the earth thorax or the turkey over. Wrap it up over and tie it off. Now you got to pull the turkey over. And you want to make sure them turkey bites stay right on top of the hook. Pull them over and tie them down right behind the eyelet. And then you whip finish this nymph. A little note here, when I like to cut the turkey off, I like to pull it back and then cut it off and that'll get your if you have any thread wraps towards the eye the hook it'll pull all them thread wraps back cut it off and secure it down make a little head for the fly and then whip finish it now we after we're done whip finish it, we have this awesome fly finish tied. Let's take a closer look at it right here. Welcome back YouTube and Long Rodders and uh, I hope you liked that video and like I said beginning video if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you click right there to subscribe or at the very end of the video there'll be a chance this fly is not I couldn't find this fly anywhere and nobody ties it uh, so basically what I did is took what I seen in images and uh, you could do this if you find a fly in your area and you pick it up and you're like, I don't know, tie a fly that looks the, the color of it. Um, you don't always have to buy, go by patterns. This fly I couldn't find anywhere. So if you're still here, this fly is a one in original. Uh, 
But I tell you what, I will show you how I got the idea for the fly when I show you this video clip. Go right here and click it. And that will show you where I came up with the idea for the fly. Well, that was a pretty, that was a really cool video if you check that out and you're back. If not, you wait till the end of this video and go check it out. It's a really cool video. You still click the I button up there anytime to watch it. Um, I hope I get to post this video today. Like I said, this channel might get shut off. Uh, if you care about that, there's a GoFundMe link below. Help us keep the channel on. And um, if you want to do it any other way, you can go to our store and buy products. You can find all the things you're going to need to tie this fly in our store. So go check the store out there. Our link's down below that. And you can buy our t-shirts there. And we will be probably be doing a Blue Quill t-shirt. Um, we did one for the Midge. We did one for the Blue Winged Olive. Everybody said they wanted to see one, but nobody's bought one yet. So I don't know what to make of that. Um, I think we're going to come up with a channel one. One that says everything fly fishing on it. Just on the front, it'll be a lot cheaper. Maybe that's the problem. You guys don't think you should spend $22 on one of these shirts. But like I said, we don't make anything. So, but, you know, a couple bucks. Three bucks, I think, per shirt. But anyway, let's go check out our store where you can buy everything. You can buy waders, fishing vest, everything. Make sure you do that. And, uh, so yeah, that's how I got the idea for the fly. I came up with it. I watched, I just got uh, pictures of the fly. And uh, all other kinds of uh, videos and pictures, and I couldn't find a, well, how to tie one, so I had to come up with it myself. And I noticed there's gills on the side. That's why we use the rabbit fur. Um, it's very black on top. That's why we use the black part of the turkey. And I always like the UV uh, peacock, um, especially on these size 18. It really looks like legs, and it really works good. And it adds that little bit of flash in the water that just grabbed the fish's attention to eat it. And I've had a lot of luck with the flashing and UV dubbing and all that. So, thank you for watching this video. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to put videos up here in this series where you can watch the rest, all the other flies in the series and do. Because, especially if you're going fishing anytime in the spring or anytime soon, you're going to want all these flies in your box. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos and make sure you check out this playlist. And here's one just for you. And you can subscribe again. Subscribe so you don't miss any cool videos right here. And keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish. Sore lip.